Hey man, it's Sheep Blaster, and sitting in nature just feels super good right now. And the reason I say that is because my commute to work really sucks the living hell out of me. Usually it's at the peak time, so it's just after people are coming away, coming home from school or work. And I go through the TFL, like London tubes. And if you've ever like lived in London tube, like if you've gone through the tubes of London, you'll know that it's really, it makes me feel like a rat. It makes me feel like a sardine when we're all packed in one little carriage and everyone's shoulder to shoulder, everyone looks a little bit miserable or tired. And the thing about the rat race, it just, it feels like a rat race. It's, it's when you're all walking really fast and everyone shoulder to shoulder walking really fast through the tubes from one, one train to the next, from one tube to the other. That commute just sucks my soul, man. And being out in the open nature, the open air, of the trees and the, the leaves and the bushes and the twigs and all this like shrubbery stuff it's quite the contrast and i have to say it's really fucking healing for me i'm not saying that i hate my commute to work it, it gives me a bit of time to journal and read a book however i would prefer to drive that's for sure <laughs> the tube oh I think that's the difference between city life and country life is that in the city everyone is grumpy, everyone is tired, everyone kind of hates their lives a bit. You can see it in people's faces that they look a bit miserable and it makes me a bit miserable because I do try to smile at people when I can. But you can't really do that in the tube. You can't make eye contact with someone and smile in the tube because there's just too many people. There's too many moments of that happening and then it takes too much energy and then you're not mindful about it. And now I'm not complaining about the tube, but I'm just highlighting the contrast between the city life and nature. Like for me, I would much rather live in a little cottage in nature like down there I think is a path to a bunch of houses I would rather live in those houses so that I can take a five minute walk to get here and be in nature nature is something fucking beautiful I mean the romantics were right they always made their poetry and their art about nature when you go to some beautiful place for example, like a place with mountains and the beautiful clouds in the sky or there's a thunderstorm. It looks like art because art has been formed from nature. Because nature is beautiful and if you put it into a painting, that painting automatically becomes beautiful. I remember I studied this artist called Anne McGill and she would do like landscape pictures and there was something so beautiful about those paintings. I'll put some on the screen. And her technique was that she would go to those places and she would actually take dirt and sand from the nature itself and she would put it in her paint. One, it would add a better texture, but two, that just adds so much to the art. To actually put something on a painting and make it look so much more beautiful. yeah it's quite nice and feeling like a rat in the tubes is just a bit weird it's a bit weird i um it might take me a while to get used to but every time i do come out to nature i feel so grateful so yeah that's my video